What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. As of right now, you have less than one week to take advantage of the best high stat in-game armor farm in Destiny 2. This week, the Grasp of Avarice has returned for the first time this season as the rotating weekly dungeon, which means its master mode is available once again. Not only will you be able to farm god rolls of the Matador or Ice Luna, but you'll be able to easily get some of the best high stat artifice armor in Destiny. Even though it's an 1840 activity, this week's modifiers, in combination with some select exotics and loadouts, will see you making quick work out of any of the three encounters that this dungeon offers. And since Bungie improved the speed of every Sparrow, that Sparrow encounter is much easier now. This week you'll receive a 25% increase to all solar and strand damage, which will work out perfectly since this season's artifact predominantly includes solar and strand focus mods. But even better, rocket launchers also get overcharged, getting an additional 25% damage no matter what energy type the rocket launcher is. This will be a great week to utilize the Gallarhorn, the Apex Predator, and the Notorious Dragon's Breath. With Argent Ordnance and Surge mods applied, these rocket launchers are going to flat out melt these bosses. It'll be lucrative to complete any of the encounters in this dungeon, but the final boss will be the one that offers the most reward. You get bonus rewards on the first completion of the week, and thereafter you're getting at least two drops every completion. You can easily swap checkpoints across alternate characters, or utilize Destiny checkpoint bots to easily farm this final encounter. I would recommend Warlocks to run a Well of Radiance build with Luna Factions. This way you can optimize the team's damage and provide a lot of additional survivability. Titans have the option of a strong Pyrogale Solar build or a Banner of War Strand build. Both are going to be strong this week. Hunters with Celestial Nighthawk will really eat away at these bosses very quickly. But there's also a necessity for a tether, so either loadout will be great, but if you don't run a tether, you will really want someone to run the tractor cannon. No matter which encounter you choose, it's only going to take a few short minutes to obtain some of the best high stat in-game armor that Destiny 2 offers. And we're not going to see this dungeon return in the lineup until the end of February, so be sure you set out some time to farm Master Grasp of Avarice this week. And with that said, I wish you all the best of luck throughout the week and throughout the rest of the season. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new Light Guardian, just starting the journey, or a battle-hardened veteran, just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.